close our question from the American side and then a question from the Chilean side. Sir, let me. I agree with the President that our team has to work hard, very hard, in order to be able to conclude an agreement by the end of the year. And this is so, I'm sure, that the trade investment in our countries are going to increase for the benefit of our population in order to give equal opportunities to everybody. We have a common shares and common goals, yes, not only common interests, but common shares and values with the U.S. in democracy, respect of human rights, a market economy, and we are trying to do the best to have equal opportunities for everybody. Uh, Army, uh, what do you think of the sales? Well, I certainly like to have what they call a fast-track authority. It, it would, uh, most presidents have had it. It's important for the president to fight for the right to be able to negotiate um, trade agreements without amendment. Um, I believe we're making progress toward regaining that power for the president. In the meantime, we can negotiate a um, we can negotiate a bilateral treaty with Chile. Uh, it's a separate issue. Uh, it's, it's an, I'm confident we can get it done, Mr. President. Uh, Ambassador Zelik is here. Uh, Ambassador Zelik and the rest of my administration are committed to not only having a good trade agreement with Chile, but also giving the president the trade promotion authority. And we'll discuss ways to get it out of the Congress when the Congress gets back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.